Hey everyone, it's me, Josh, and today before we get into everything that's about to happen, I'm just gonna throw out a few things. First of all, I will be doing a Q&A video up soon, so if you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comments below, because I'd love to hear them. The other thing is, I have something very special planned for this channel, my like whole YouTube career, um, coming up very soon. No, it's not merch, even though I know you're really, really wanting merch from me, but it's not, so I'm sorry, but that's just how it's gonna go. Just kidding, nobody wants to pay $20 for a freaking t-shirt from me, so. I don't want to tell you guys what it is yet, but I think it's exciting. Um, but I don't really want to do it until I have enough, like, people where it seems like it's gonna be, like, you know, for something. So I'm gonna hold it off until I get a thousand subscribers, because we're really getting close. So this isn't really a push to, like, get more subscribers, but it also kind of is. So like, cause you know, YouTube is a business and honey, I gotta work it like a business. I usually am not like on top of this kind of stuff, but for this I am going to be. So this one time, there's gonna be more times in the future I'm guessing. If we can get to a thousand subscribers by maybe the end of the year, I think it's realistic. I'm at like 900 now, guys. Like it's only a hundred more, which sounds crazy, but I've reached a hundred in like a period of a month before. So it's not that crazy. I know I'm asking and I try not to ask a lot, but by a thousand, and then I will release whatever it is. So just letting y'all know that. Tell your friends if you want to do that. I don't even know how to do this. I'm all over the place. So there you go. And now let's get into this actual video. So about August last year, I started this playlist of making the ruby slippers from the Wizard of Oz as replicas. And people since then have, I mean, they've kind of loved it. Like a lot of people like were interested and they're trying to get into it and all this stuff. And after three videos, I had stopped because I was making those slippers with the process. Basically telling all the information I've gained and what I was doing. It was just kind of like, follow along this journey, I'll show you what works, doesn't work. After three videos, which was around this time last year, I stopped. And everybody was really confused, like, what's going on? Did he just stop me at the project? And their answer is no. I, instead, was busy sewing all the sequins for the first pair of the shoes. Which took a very long time, because I wouldn't really sit down on it. It was kind of like, whenever I could work on it, I would go and work on it. And now, a year later, I am proud to pronounce that one, yes one, of the shoes are fully sewn. Here she is, Miss America. It's not even that much, but it really is, because I sewed on each and every one of these little tiny sequins. Starting with the heel, and then moving from here on down, and then on to here, and then doing a back and forth until I reached the bottom. So really, it did take quite a long time in between me taking breaks between doing it and stuff because after a while it does hurt your back because I don't have an official table for it so I'd be kind of leaning over doing it is probably really bad for me and this is just one shoe and I actually do have back here one of the bows sewn this was following the blueprint for the shoes that somebody made a while ago back when one of the pairs was found their blueprint has more of like rounded edges to the bows when the real bows most of them have pretty straight edges so, story of my life. I went with the blueprint. The Western Costume Company, which made some 50th anniversary replicas of the shoes, they went with that version of the bows where it's rounded at the edges. So, I looked at some pictures. I still think it looks okay, so I'm going with that. And I just want to give a special thank you to all of the people that kept commenting and asking, when is the fourth part of the video coming out? There were so many of you. I was so surprised that so many people were as interested as I was. So, thank you so much. And I'm sorry I didn't like respond to any of your guys' comments because I was like, it's, it's coming, it's coming. I'll they'll get them answered soon. Here is your answer. So today, in this video, we're going to be assembling one of the shoes of the ruby slippers. Uh, okay, let's do it. Now, I don't know how this is gonna go, but I have my plan in play. So here's the shoe that I was sewing the sequins for. This is gonna take a while. I chose a really bad time to do this. It's fine. I have my pre-made inside to the shoe because I made a second inside to match the real ones more. My starting plan with this is to take this ribbon. I've gotten some thick red ribbon from Joann's and I'm just gonna outline this ribbon on the shoe wherever I'm going to be sewing on the overlay so I'm not gluing it 
on, so I'm still sewing it so it's more accurate. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this on with, I have some Fabri-Tac glue, I'm gonna use that because that's what another shoemaker person said to do. So I'm just following their instructions, I don't know what I'm doing, so. All right, so the shoe is covered in ribbon and it looks disgusting, but whatever. I did the top and I even folded over the edges, except on this part, I should've done on this part, but this part was the thickest and the rest wasn't because it was different. I did a thing where I made it all more proportional and all this stuff by making the sides rise up because I covered it in leather. It's this whole story. And then around the heel and it looks so bad. So I'm hoping it's not as noticeable when I put the thing on, but it will be some. Mm. This hasn't been out of its hoop for over a year. I'm a little worried because it's stretched over this and I'm worried I'm gonna take it off, it's gonna detract, it's gonna look crazy. Let's just undo this. This is actually terrifying. It's like letting go of my baby. Whoa, <gasps> wow. That is so weird, look at all the lines. It looks like it fits all the areas. All childhood dreams coming true right now. By childhood, I mean last year childhood. I think I'm gonna cut this out a little bit did they ever use the term bubble cut in school with you? I'm gonna do bubble cuts. You have to have a lot of extra to be able to wrap around. I feel like so many people are gonna be like, you didn't do that. You bought them in the rolls. And I'm gonna be like, shut up. I have proof. I took pictures of the whole process. This video is proof. Like, is this not? This is the most recognizable pair of shoes in the world. I think I'm gonna try to pin this onto the shoe. I have very loosely fitted the overlay onto the shoe and it all seems to fit. Okay, that was the most worrisome thing as I was saying is like this is not gonna turn out okay I think I'm gonna go ahead and start sewing the overlay onto the shoe. This is gonna be scary This has to be up by tomorrow, and I, I I'm only here so that's Great. So it is currently 9.48 and I've sewn on the overlay to the shoes. Now the front looks okay. The back is a little rough along here and that. Don't just ignore that. I started with the heel. The way I did the overlay is I had a piece of paper under it that I was following. For these parts I just traced it on because when I took the paper off like the strands were very loose so that's why they're coming out like that. But you know what? I kind of like the aesthetic of it because it looks like maybe like they just finished filming the film. Um, so like the shoes are kind of worn up, but they're like not the point where it's like we just found the shoes like 50 years later. I kind of like it, but I'm gonna touch up this with some extra sequins when I have to go. This is not done yet, obviously. The real shoes have, they basically like sewed a line of sequins around the top after they put them on, so I still have to do that. I have this fake interior that I'm gonna go in and glue in and get that set up right now, and I'll come back to you when that is done and we'll do the next little final thing. Okay, okay, it's late, I need to finish this up. Okay, by the way, I'm listening to a Spotify playlist of Judy Garland. Um, I did the inside. I love the front of it because it just, it looks like it. The side, but if you cover this up, it's just the heel. The heel's what throws it all off because like the heel is so wrong. There's my fake inside with the in shoe company, which is the company that made the shoes. Now is the little special part of me having this lovely bow done. Earlier, I took some of the same leather that I used for the inside and I grabbed it and I kind of traced out the bow pattern on it and I painted it red and this will be the backing. The actual bows is just this thin leather leather. I thought it was a belt leather the first time I did it and it's so thick. It's on my old pair. It's gross. It's just this, real thin. And I just put this on and then I wrapped the sides around so I'm gonna go do that, make the bow, and we'll put it on, which I have to sew, which will take more time and it's 10 on 1 at night, but it's fine. <laughs> Still have to edit this. I don't know when that's gonna happen. <laughs> if this isn't up at the usual time on Tuesday, I'm sorry, but now you know why. This is why, because I'm literally filming it the night before. Yay, I'm having fun. I have something very special to show you all. Shh. Here we have our lovely friend, the right, left, right? I don't know what side. One of the sides of the ruby slippers. Trying to cover up the back heel. <laughs> Okay, let me say something. Still to the top. We already covered. I'm a little upset that the bow color is like is so off from the rest of it, but you know what? It sucks to suck. The bow also kind of looks bad. I contemplated not doing it and redoing it, but whatever. I was like, you know what? The MGM Studios is made up of actual women and actual people, and you know what? They had to make like seven freaking pairs of these or more. We don't know. And after a while, they probably got tired trying to make the bows look perfect or the rest of the shoe. So this is just another one of the pairs, you know? And I might scruff up the bottoms a little bit. I don't know, just to make it 
more with a used. I like the idea of the whole used thing. I'm proud of it, you know? Like, I was a little skeptical. The colors are really weird, but the rhinestones on the front really give that orange color in different areas. I gotta be honest, someday I might sell these and get a professional pair made. That's kind of my long-term goal. Because there's a guy that does commissions and stuff and he's really great. At least when he has the time to, it's like he can only do 10 commissions per year. I'd like to try to sell these someday. You know, get on that list. For now, I'll keep rolling with these. Love in the front, hate in the side. <laughs> and yeah, so again, remember I have that Q&A coming up and then also, you know, if we want to see that new thing happen I'm with my channel, then uh, some subscribers. <laughs> I don't know, I need to go, but it's all the way, it is 10.30, so. Have a great day, be kind of one another, and here we are, the Ruby Slippers of The Wizard of Oz. <laughs>